Alright, Chris, we've been getting a lot of these weird tweets about this sex positive movement that's going around across the country. Tell us a little about that or give us some insight on that. Wow, the sex positive movement, sex positive feminism is really exciting because it's the concept that we support anyone's sexual desires in any manner possible. So it's not just about supporting LGBT, it's not just about supporting BDSM or whatever little thing is going on. It's whatever is okay with you as a consenting adult practicing safe sex, it's all good. We really need to be non-judgmental about that. So do you think that's like, it kind of like brings some kind of healing to the to sexual interaction between, you know, men and women? Because, you know, I've been here, like, I talk to a lot of women and they're, they're kind of like timid when it comes to the whole sex topic for whatever reason, so. Um, it really has the opportunity to bring a lot of healing because it, um, there's no judgment about promiscuity or non-monogamy or polyamory and it's all okay and I think if we grow up thinking that we have to be virgins or we have to be monogamous that puts a really lot of pressure on us so that's why a lot of women are timid. Yeah, Tricia, you seem to be pretty knowledgeable about the subject. Um, you know, how, where'd that go? Come? Where's this not a coming from? Well, I've always enjoyed sex, and I lost my virginity at a pretty young age. But recently I wrote this book called Sex, The Punctuation Mark of Life, and it's my own stories. So I wanted to share my own stories so that people weren't looking to stories that were total fantasy with made-up heroes and heroines, and it just didn't make any you know, sense. So that's it. You can get it on Amazon. Nice. Just, you know, some people will think if you have sex with more than one person, you're promiscuous, and other people, it's up in the hundreds, right? Um, but I do want to make it clear that just because I'm sure, so I don't know which comes first. If you're relaxed enough to have a really good time at sex, does that mean that you're more creative, or that you have sex and so you relax so you become more creative? I don't know which comes first.